know that triangles are three-sided polygons. We also know that not all triangles look alike. In order to best classify triangles, we can describe them according to their side lengths and their angle measures. Let's start by looking at their side lengths. If a triangle has three equal sides, then it can be described as an equilateral triangle. In addition to having three equal sides, equilateral triangles also have three equal angles. This means our equilateral triangle is also our regular triangle since its side lengths and angle measures are all congruent. If a triangle has two equal sides and a third side that's a different length, then it's classified as an isosceles triangle. Since isosceles triangles have two equal sides, we also know they have two equal angle measures. The angle across from each congruent side is also going to be congruent. If a triangle has three different sides, then it's classified as a scalene triangle. Since scalene triangles have three different side lengths, they also have three different angle measures. If you want to describe a triangle solely on its angle measures, you have to start by finding the largest angle on the triangle. In order to find the largest angle on the triangle, start by finding its longest side. The largest angle is always going to be across from the longest side, just like the smallest angle would be across from the smallest side, and the mid-sized angle would be across from the mid-length side. If our largest angle is an obtuse angle, meaning it measures between 90 and 180 degrees, then we would classify this as an obtuse triangle. If our largest angle is a right angle, meaning it measures exactly 90 degrees, then we would classify this as a right triangle. If our largest angle was an acute angle, meaning it measures less than 90 degrees, then we could classify that as an acute triangle. To give a triangle its most specific name, we can classify it by both its side length and its angle measures. Since there are three ways to classify triangles by side lengths and three ways to classify triangles by angle measures, that means we should be able to create nine different triangles. However, only seven of them are possible. The seven different triangles that we can create are an equilateral acute triangle, isosceles acute, and scalene acute. We can cre also create an isosceles right triangle, a scalene right triangle, we could create an isosceles obtuse triangle, and a scalene obtuse triangle. The two that aren't possible are going to be our equilateral right triangle or an equilateral obtuse triangle. The reason is in order to be an equilateral, all sides have to be the same length, which means all angles are going to be the same measure. Since angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees, I can't have a 90 degree angle and have two other equal angles to still come up with that 180 degree sum. Just like I can't have an obtuse angle greater than 90, have two other angles that are greater than 90 and come up with that 180 degree sum. Next time you see a triangle, try to give it a better name than just triangle. Try to give it its most specific name possible by looking at its side lengths and its angle measures.